Hey, Penny Turco here from PennyTurco.com. I've had a few questions recently of folks that have just created a new fan page and are wanting to um, really increase their likes, their social proof, or the, the amount of fans that they have on their fan page. So what I wanted to do for you today was just show you an easy way to do that. Here I am on my fan page. I'm going to click on the Build Audience tab and create an ad. And this is going to take you directly to your your profile account and directly to where you can create an ad. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look here and you want to say get more page likes. You want to choose that one. Alright, you can change the title of your ad if you want to, um, the text, and you can change where people will land after they click like on your ad. Uh, right on your timeline, so that's right you know, on the, on the front of your timeline or any one of the tabs that you have on your page. Okay, it'll use your current profile image or you can upload another image or choose from the library. All right, you want to then go ahead and keep this clicked off, people liking your page, because as humans we all have sort of a, a herd mentality really. So when we see people that we know liking something, generally we're going to take a look as well. So you want to do that for social proof of other people liking your page. Uh, that's going to generally draw their friends over to take a look and take a like as well. Okay, so then you want to add the countries that you usually um, want your ad to appear in front of. And I usually put in always Canada, United States, and the United Kingdom. I start my ad at the age of majority in Canada, which is 19. And I go in terms of uh, around 10 year time spans. Um, so I'll go 19 to 29 in one ad, and then I'll do the exact same ad, 30 to 40, and then another ad, a third ad, 40 to 55. So that really shows you where you're getting your majority of activity from, rather than lumping it all together. Uh, the ad that you're getting the most activity from in terms of age demographic, you can put the rest on hold and not spend as much money. This is really sort of optimizing your clicks and the money that you spend for each click. Okay. So then you want to put in um, a precise interest. So let's say we, we say, well, we want all the people that are interested in social media marketing. Okay. When it's got a hashtag, that means anything to do with social media marketing. I like to be more specific quite often and say, okay, I just, just want the people that have said they're interested in social media marketing. Okay. And then you can, you can choose your connection. So you can say, yes, I want anyone. That means people that are connected to me already and the ones that aren't, okay? And then you can look at friends of connections too. So you can target people whose friends are connected to a certain page or let's say they're already um, over at Mari Smith's Facebook marketing page. You can put her name in there or her page in there as well, okay? Um, advanced targeting options, that's a little um, a little more complex with URLs and such. We're not going to worry about that. You want to give your campaign a new name, social media marketing likes. And then you can choose how much money you want to spend per day. Okay. You can say it's a lifetime budget. I usually go with a per day amount. I say run my campaign continuously. You can also start it and end it on a certain day. I just keep an eye on mine to make sure that things are going well with it and then I can always pause it if I don't want it to run any longer. I always optimize my ad for clicks, okay? Um, because in this way you can actually man manually bid for the clicks. If you say um, you want Facebook to automatically optimize your budget, then they get to choose. I say I want to choose. I want to be in control of, of um, the clicks. In this way I can um, uh, choose the pay per click function instead of the impression function, which is CPM. So I'm not going for as many people as possible just to take a look at my ad. I only want to pay when people actually click on it. And then here you can say how much you want to spend. So I always usually put a dollar in here. Oops, not a thousand dollars, a dollar. Even if it says less, here it says suggested bid is uh, 34 cents to $1.68. So that's kind of right in between. You're going to review your ad and then you're going to hit place order. So it really can be as simple as that. You can play a, uh, play around with it a little bit, and then it's going to show up, um, and it's going to give some social social proof of already the friends that already like your page, and then other people are going to be drawn to come and take a look as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you uh, found some value here. If you did, 
make sure you click the thumbs up below and leave a comment and share it with a friend. You can also head over to my blog to get more information on Facebook um, ads and Facebook fan page creation and monetization. All right. I hope to see you again. Bye for now.